Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing super well and excited for today's vlog. Before we get into today's video, I did want to hop on at the beginning and start by sharing with you guys my absolute loves, Skin and Me. This part of the video is kindly sponsored by Skin and Me. I have been using Skin and Me forever. Um, the first time that I worked with them was over on Instagram and I wanted to test and try the products before I collaborated. So I've honestly been working with them now for long over six months and I genuinely am obsessed with the brand. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I was contacted by another brand who wanted to collaborate and I actually like turned the job down because I didn't want to work with a company that I hadn't tried and tested and that I wasn't regularly using. Skin and Me is a brand that I regularly use. I actually pay for the subscription. It's not gifted every single month. Like I am a subscriber of the Skin and Me lifestyle and I really, really love the brand. And I think when it comes to skincare, that's a really key area. Like I wanna keep it 100% real with you guys. I've had struggles with my skin. I know people that have had struggles with their skin and I would hate to endorse a product that I didn't wholeheartedly stand behind. So with that being said, I actually have a code which I'm gonna get out of the way now because I know for those of you that do just wanna try the products, um, you'll want the code. My code is GeorgiaYT10, and that is gonna get you guys your first month with Skin and Me for £3.50, which honestly is great. Like, just test it out, see what you think of it. You know, feel free to ask me any questions here or on my Instagram when it comes to Skin and Me, um, but you may as well try it out for £3.50 and see how you get on. So, this is my current skin. Um, I've spoken a lot about my skin here on YouTube, and uh, my skin kind of does this. I'm gonna keep it real. This is a three-step system that I've been using for a really long time, and I really do believe that it's transformed my skin. Key area for me, problematic area, was around here. I'm actually gonna put some po photos in that I submitted to Skin and Me when I first signed up to the program, and obviously you can see how my skin is looking now. And I've literally just woken up, by the way, guys. It's like 8 a.m., and I sound really groggy because I've just arisen out of bed. <laughs> what I think is so amazing about Skin and Me is the fact that it's such an easy three-step system, it's not complicated. I think nowadays we are bombarded with like 400 products to use on our skin. Firstly, it's really overwhelming. Secondly, it's not really realistic for most people. Um, and also just efficiency, like the consistency with like an eight-step system is a lot more difficult than it is with something that's as easy as three steps. So that's the first reason why I love them. Another reason why I love Skin Me is that all of the products are personalized for you. So when I say that, you fill out an online consultation, you talk about what you want from your skincare, what your you know problems are with your skin. I submitted photos of my skin. It really is personalized and created specifically for you, which I think is really nice. Also, um, in your daily doser, some of the products in this are active ingredients, so you can't actually get them over the counter, which means hopefully they're really, really gonna work for you. So let me just talk really quickly about some of my products. First up, I have my cleanser. This is my purifying and prep hydrating cleanser. I use this morning and evening, love it. The second thing that I really wanna share with you is my daily doser. So this is personalized for you, as I just mentioned, and it has my name on it. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus, but it says for Georgia, which I really, really love. My active ingredients in this are gonna be different to yours. I've actually compared my active ingredients in my daily doser with some of my friends. Me and Sid compared ours because we were just really intrigued what the other person had. So I have niacinamide and azeliac acid. Um, the really good thing about this product is that you're not gonna use too much or too little. When I say that, it's formulated really, really clever. Um, I'm gonna show you how right now. This is the daily doser, and the really cool technology with this is that you twist the product up. So I'm twisting the product. Did you hear that? That click is to let you know that's your daily amount. So you don't use too much and you don't use too little product. That's how much product you're gonna use. Just love the fact that it makes that little click noise. It's so that you don't use too much product because I have a really bad habit of doing that and just draining through products very, very quickly. And then my final product that I have to share with you guys is my moisturizer. This is just a really nice lightweight moisturizer that I use every single day. I also pop it on underneath my makeup. If you're someone that's struggling with your skin, Skin and Me offers you access to dermatologists without having to wait for an appointment, which is also really nice. I am obsessed, I really am. I love the fact that it's a three-step system. I'm sorry, but I'm overwhelmed by these skincare routines that are ridiculously long. And for me, three steps 
fits into my daily routine and it allows me to be consistent. I honestly believe I've had fantastic results with Skin and Me. So if you have any specific questions that you don't feel like I've answered, please, please message me on Instagram. We can have a little catch up, a chat. I like to voice note you guys and talk about products and things that I love. So I'm more than happy to speak with you over there. Please also do not forget my discount code if you want to try it out. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. I've been using this system for a really long time. You guys would have seen it in and amongst random vlogs and also over on my Instagram. I'm always talking about them just authentically because I really, really like the product. I said, I'm a subscriber. I pay for my subscription and I've continued that subscription from the day I started using them. So I am a very happy customer. I'm actually really excited to be working with them on this video because this feels like a really nice collaboration. But yes, that is it for this little intro. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some makeup on. I've got so many errands to do today. Film loads of bits. I've just gotta get myself in gear. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. I've just done my hair and makeup. My hair's looking a bit wild, but we're gonna leave it. I need to get ready. I'm literally running so late. So let me throw on some clothes and I'll be back. I want my mum's to join you because I'm so, so late. Hey guys, so. I've done my hair and makeup, so I think the clip you saw earlier, I was just doing my like morning skincare routine because I wanted to pop it on, pop it in this vlog. Um, this is a really great place to rest my camera right now. I'm in my mum's car. Here she is. I don't want to film her too much because she's driving, but there we go. Someone will tell me off. Um, it's really funny. I turned up to my mum's and we're in the same outfit but different colours. <laughs> so she's in a black jumper dress and I'm in this like cream jumper dress. This is the softest jumper dress and jumper I've honestly had in ages from Abercrombie they have really really nice stuff like I don't know if you'd think to look on Abercrombie but they actually have really nice stuff on there I got nice summer dresses from Abercrombie yeah. lovely dresses yeah I feel like their stuff's changed since years ago and it's yeah. actually really really nice really where's your nice. dress from black H one H and M. I, is that the one I've got I think so I've got it yeah I've got I've got that it's yes, really nice it yeah um, so we're on our way to Bista. I don't know if I've mentioned that in this video. The last time we went there, we had a bit of PTSD. Mm. My mum's Christmas shopping got stolen. Yeah. So I said we're going to be really careful with our stuff. Very, very. Um, yeah. So I'll let you guys know what it's like. Because sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's a miss. So we'll see. But it's a nice like little area to go. And they've got loads of restaurants opening there soon, I think. I'll let you know if any of them are open. The only thing is we have chosen to go on the day of the, probably the worst weather. But... We're not allowed in any shops. No. <laughs> Do you know what? I come to Bista. I vlog at Bista every time. Down, so and I always more. rant about it. And people are like, oh, stop ranting. I'm ranting because it annoys no, me. No one wants us. And all these, they have Nobody all these influencers here. Custom. And they let them swan around, right? Go in all the shops and tell you guys that they've had the best day ever. But if you come here, the reality is far from that. <laughs> That is the truth. I'm sorry. This queuing, what this virtual queue. What did you say the virtual queue was at Dior? Well, the virtual queue and a half hours. It's and it's also closed, so you can no longer even scan. And tell them it's Monday. It's not, it's Monday. It's not the weekend. There's no one here, guys. It's literally there's nobody here. Well, and do you, you know what? We're going to slum it in prep. But now also, and have some lunch. <laughs> also, you can't even scan the queue. So you can't even you can't even wait in the virtual queue because you can't even scan it. It's just it's a whole experience. But you know. Also, I know I've got. Oh no, I've taken them both out now. Um, we just went to that little hut over there somewhere, and we got a little mulled wine, didn't we? Cheers, cheers. She's taking the lid off. But I know if I take the lid off, I won't be able to get it back on. <laughs> Very Christmassy here, isn't it? Everyone's saying Merry Christmas, the Christmas lights are out. I can actually tell you what I've got because this video won't go out until after probably this is given, I think. <laughs> if not, I'll cut this clip out. But I got Leon like a little one of those like puffer body warmer things. He always wears them to work and I thought it was kind of useful. And then I got a fragrance actually in Joe Malone. My sister got me this fragrance for my birthday and I love the scent and they had it here. What did you get? I got some things from Jo Malone as well, the body cream, the big 12. Oh yeah, what scent is that in? Orange Blackberry Blossom. And, oh, is the, it? Body, the body cream's in Orange Blossom. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did I get in Blackberry and The bed? fragrance. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then... The prices were quite good, weren't they, in Jo Malone? Yeah. Like, not yeah. for Jo Malone, you know. I mean, when we could shop duty free, it's yeah. the same. They, so they brought duty free back. Sorry, that. we've got something bad about it. Yeah, they brought you to I, the back. Did, did I tell you that? No, Leon told me. Did you tell Leon? No, because I heard <laughs> that, but then I searched things online and it didn't seem any cheaper. Well, I, apparently they've brought anyway, it back. Anyway, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought a lovely 
Reese sweater for my daughter's boyfriend. Oh yes you did, yeah. God, we, he's the one that's got all the gifts. I know. And then your dad's got some lovely things, look. Because he won't watch your video, we don't need to worry. Right, here we go, we're back. Yeah, th this store is great here to be fair if you're shopping for a man. Really? Mont Blanc, nice. is that what it's called, or Mont Blanc? No, Mont Blanc. Okay, well, no, I've said it like that, I have said it like that, but I thought, is that wrong? Look, and I like how it comes in a little pouch, and the leather's lovely on this. For this when is he travels. Yes, the stuff from here is really nice. I'll send him off on his travels. But, w a bit disappointed in Gucci, there wasn't really a lot. No. Nope. Um, and same with Prada, it wasn't blowing our socks off, was it? So, but we've got something. Yes, yeah, we've got something which is good. It makes it worthwhile. Yeah. And we're having our nice drink. house updates um, and show you guys the house and show you just like things I've added to the house that I haven't vlogged I think I've shown a few of these things on Insta but haven't really shown them here on my YouTube so it's my coffee thing that's the cat as well um, so um, I think I'm gonna do some house updates I don't know why it will not focus on my face in this vlog I'm so sorry about the cat he just yowls until I give him trees and stuff and not Anyway, I just got my nails done. Look how pretty they look. So I literally just got French tips. Uh, the shade is bubble bath. Empty. And then I just got a tiny little heart. It won't focus. Which is super cute. I bought some flowers from like the flower market in town. And I'm going to put them in a vase. So here they are. They did get really bashed around in the gale force winds that I just experienced. So I'm going to put them in a pot now. And then I want to show you guys the house and show you some house updates you mister i know you keep yowing yum 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 yow right these are my pretty pretty flowers i'm gonna go place them somewhere in the house eucalyptus is one of my favorites um and i'm gonna jazz the house up and then i'm gonna do some house updates because i just want to keep you guys posted with the house how it is at the moment before i start putting my christmas stuff out I want to show you just like what it's currently looking like. I'm going to go hoover the living room and then I can show you guys that. And if I've got any new bits, don't even think about getting into the tumble dryer. Don't even think about it, mate. I'm going to shut that door right now. Anyway. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you this room before Leon gets home and lays himself on the sofa and then... You know, I can't show you anything. So this is my living room. I think I've shown this a few times, but this is pretty much completely finished now, this room, which I'm so happy to say. Um, we finally have finished this room and I love it. I'm actually gonna put the crackling fire on the telly. Why the heck not put the crackling fire on? I don't have our current fireplace on, but the other day I had this candle just resting and it actually melted it. Luckily, I'm gonna know I'm gonna be able to get that off really easily because it's dried, but absolute disaster. You can see there, the fire was just on and it just melted the candle. Now, currently in this room, by the way, these are my flowers. How pretty do they look? Um, I need to sort of judge them around and fix them a bit, but yeah, look really, really lovely. A lot of the kind of accessories you'll notice in this room are autumnal themed. I haven't changed them out yet for my Christmas decorations. I will be very, very soon, but not yet. And I wanted to show you this room before I do my whole Christmas decor. So this is just a little subtle nod to some of my autumnal decor that I put in here. I didn't go crazy. A couple of pumpkins down there on the floor. Orange themed candles. These lovely kind of runners that I actually got from TK Maxx, um, which was a great find. This is the current sofa situation. I don't love these sort of throws on the sofa. However, this is a white sofa and I can machine wash these. I actually have just washed the cushion covers um, literally this weekend. So they're actually really lovely at the moment. So I can wash them. I know I can wash them, but I try my best to sort of keep them covered because I never want to spill anything on these cushion, uh, yeah, cushion covers and the sofa. So that's why it's covered with a lot of throws. I don't love the look of that, but I do think it adds a little bit of a cozy texture. 
This one I actually got from HomeSense and I love it. It's kind of wintry with the pom-poms. This one I believe is Zara and then this one Primark actually sent me. Uh, this is Primark Home. This cushion Zara, this is from a girl on Instagram. I will leave her link below. She's such a sweetheart. She has loads of like autumnal and home themed bits and bobs. These cushions here are actually from Dunelm and then this white one here is Zara Home. Um, over here I've got these two little... Hi, honey. And these two little tables are from M&S and they actually match my coffee table, which I completely love. The nice thing about the M&S version is that this is real marble. Zara do a similar version, but it isn't real marble. Uh, this little tray is from Arigi Bianchi. I never pronounce that properly. Arigi, is that it? Yeah. Why do I say Arigi? Oh, Arigi, Arigi Bianchi, and it's so lovely. They do really nice home accessories, and I'll show you guys my table in a minute that I actually got from them. These I got from a girl on Etsy. They're really, really cute. I mean, she probably does some Christmas theme ones that I'm going to try and get for the Christmas time. Leon's got a new car, which I'm going to go have a look at in a minute. These little pumpkins are again from Home Sense or TK Maxx, even. Pumpkins are Matalan. Yeah, I mean, anything you've got questions on that I haven't answered, honestly, just shoot them in the comment section and I'll answer them. But this is this room. I've got two lamps there, annoyingly, which are really bothering me, but they need to be returned. And if you live in a Victorian terrace home, you will know there is no storage built into these homes. Um, I had one of you guys comment below, you were from the US in a previous video, you commented in a video, and you were like, where's the storage? And I was like, I'm still looking for it. So we have pretty much no storage in these houses. It's just the way they're built. I have an under the stairs cupboard and that's literally it in the, on this ground floor, which obviously you wanna keep your shoes and coats in as well, as well as like your mop, broom, hoover. So the storage is limited, but it is what it is. It's making me live a little bit more minimalist. I definitely used to be a maximalist and I'm trying to be a little bit more minimal. So it helps, but those lamps need to go back to Dunelm. They actually came broken, which was a real pain. This lamp here was a total splurge, but you know what? I don't regret it. It's from the White Company and I absolutely love it. It's exactly what I wanted for this room. Shutters are by a brand, a brand? A company called Kookaburra Shutters. I will leave them linked below. Car, got this chair from a homeware shop in Marlow, which is so random. And then I've got a little basket here from TK Maxx, which actually houses a lot of like pr -y bits and my notebooks and just like worky bits. I've got this really gorgeous throw, which is actually from Target. I'm so excited to go back to the States because I'm sure Leon will be happy to hear. I'm going to bring a couple of empty suitcases to bring home oh some homeware bits. Well, last year we brought home two enormous cushions and that. Yeah, Do you remember? The, the cushions are on the bed. The cushions are on the bed, yeah. This is this little alcove thing here. And this is our only sort of storage in this room. The only <gasps> issue is in here, don't Did it? It looks, know? does look weird because I've got a cowgirl hat and some wrapping paper. How's this all uh, of our like... I bought you that. Yeah, Leon did buy me that. Sorry, so babe. Uh, just, you know, it looked a bit cluttery, so I thought for now it can go in there. Rude. <laughs> um, but it houses what was in here, the fuse box and crap like that. Yeah, so it's not, it's not actually that great for storage. Like, they don't go back that far. It looks like better storage than it is. It's more it of an aesthetic. 300 mil. Yeah, it's more, of a, it's more of a looks thing, isn't it, than a storage yeah. thing. But yeah, this is this room. I just wanted to show you guys this room because I knew Leon was going to want to sit on the sofa and I thought I'd let him sit down before I show you guys the rest of the downstairs. I'm doing a downstairs house tour. Go away. Do you want to say hi? No. Doesn't even want to say hi to you guys. How, why is he being so rude? Uh, Check his tracksuit, by the way. Yeah, I do like that, actually. Feel the inside. Nice. How nice is that? It's lovely. Soft. So soft. Yeah. Oh, looks the prints. Good. Looks really good. Thank you. The prints are from Decenio. Mm -hmm. So are the frames, they're also from Decenio. I kind of want to change these out now for Christmas themed ones. So I might look on the Decenio website to see what I can find. And they put up bang on level. Yeah, you put them up really well. Actually, they look great. This light fixture's next. It's a complete dupe for the White Company one, if you're wondering. And we did have, I had coving put in here. I went to say we, but I don't even know if I'd met you by the time I made that decision. Um, I had coving put in here, it's from Screwfix, best thing I ever did. I kind of wish I had like a ceiling rose done and like went all out, but no, I think this won't date, so I'm happy with it. The in here is a bit of a strange one. It's a Farrow and Ball shade and shaded white with a Dulux mix. So it's like the two colors painted over one another. So it isn't exactly spot on for Farrow and White. Farrow and White? Farrow and White. Farrow and Ball? Farrow and Ball. 
shaded white because we painted over some patches and it's not the right colour. So you can get this colour mixed up, but just know it's not going to be like identical. He's now treasuring the second room that I'm about to tidy to show you guys. Okay, I also thought I would just quickly show you guys this new mirror that we've actually put here. Well, I say we, I didn't do it, Leon and his friend did it. Um, this is from William Woods Mirrors. Our hallway is very narrow, so I love those really nice Victorian hallways where you have a little bit more space and you can put maybe like a little shelf or a console table. Ours is definitely not big enough for something like that. I don't even really want to put a coat rail because I just feel like we'll clutter it up and it just won't look nice. So this is William Woods Mirrors. I actually really, really love this mirror. I've been on the hunt for something like this for a really long time. I saw it on there and I ordered it and do you know what? It came so quickly. Goes really nicely with this light fixture. This one is from Pookie Lighting. I need to give it a good clean. It's just quite hard to get up there. Um, but I do need to clean that with a bit of glass cleaner. Yeah, and then our rads all over the house are from, again, they're, oh, they're not screw fix. They're Victoria Plumbing or something. Um, I had all the radiators ripped out and these put in. I just prefer them. I think they go better with the house and it suits the vibe. One thing I really desperately want to replace is this that we've got kind of built into the flooring here. I just think it looks very, very ugly. I don't know if it needs a new one or what. I just don't love it. So that's kind of on my list to sort of figure out what to do with. The list is never ending, so yeah. Also, just thought I would quickly show you our carpet runner. So this carpet runner I got from a company on Instagram. And I also picked up these little, what do you call these, Leon? What do you call the bars? Okay. What do you call the things in the carpet, the bars? Yeah, I don't know what they're called. I've forgotten what they're called, but these things... I also paid for and had them put in because you can have a runner without them and it does still look really lovely. I went for a super thin border because again, unfortunately, this staircase is very narrow and very steep so I couldn't have anything too fancy but they do some incredible carpet runner things. The one thing I absolutely hate about these stairs and we need to sort out <clears throat> is the guy hammered like holes into the wrong bit because he didn't realize we were having a runner put in. He thought we were having carpeted stairway and then realized so we filled leon filled the holes but they need to be like what do they need to be leon just painted or sanded and painted yeah really really badly and it really bothers and irks me so that is like a very very high priority job to do this i just had painted in black because i really liked it contrasting with the wall the color in the hallway is skimming stone and the color in this room is shaded white so slightly different colors but this is a really lovely color too okay guys so this is the dining room that i feel like i just haven't shown you in honestly months and it's a little bit different probably from when you last saw it now the one thing i am still on the hunt for is a rug for this room, I desperately would like a rug, but I think I'm gonna get the people, sorry, there's just a Michelin man in the corner of the room, putting on his coat, showing off his new coat, showing off your new car. People are gonna comment, you're very braggy. No. <laughs> I know, he's just excited. Um, yeah, so the carpet that I had made, this the upstairs carpet and like the runner, they actually make rugs, so I'm gonna, DM the guy actually tonight and send him the measurements for this room because I would love a nice rug with like, I don't know, just like a nice boarded edge or something nice. So that's on the way, but just to make it feel a bit more cozy, a lot of people say don't ruin these floors and I do get that, but it does feel not that cozy and I think a rug would help. Let's talk about everything else. Here we've got Mr. Monty just chilling. These chairs are from, I wanna say the Cotswold Company or Cox and Cox, I will leave them linked below. They're a bit of an acquired taste. I know not everyone likes them. I think they fit the house really nicely and they match the table perfectly. So that is why I went for them. Also, this table is typically more central, but because I've not got anyone over at the moment and we're just sort of, you know, I've got my washing rail here and things like that normally, that's why it's slightly over to the wall. But normally I actually do have this a little bit more central. This table, I did some Instagram posts on. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is from, how do you say it again? Ari Arigi Bianchi. I honestly am obsessed with it. They also do a round table. They do this in two different sizes. This is the smaller size. It's so incredibly made. It's really nice distressed, light wood. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, I couldn't be happier with the table. This is H&M. I've got some flowers in there. This little cake stand's H&M. I've got my winter candle, which I'm so excited to burn. Um, and then that's also from H&M, just from the other day we had breakfast here. So that's what that is. 
There will be a long mirror going on this wall, so I do think that's really missing in here. And as you can see, where well, we tried to paint over some of the marks on this wall, but we're going to put a long, wide mirror here. I'm still on the hunt for that, so please help me out below. Something that would fit this room, it's quite traditional. I like the house to still have a bit of character, but I need a wide mirror that I can put on that wall. So appreciated if you could help me below. I'm also gonna have a shutter put on this window here, just waiting for it to arrive and sort all that out. This light is from Wayfair. I think I'm gonna put a bit of art here. Leon always laughs when I say that, but something needs to go there. I'm just not certain what. Again, let me know what could I put in this space. And then we've got this side. And my mum's gonna kill me when she watches this because this was all beautiful and like nothing was in here. But now my bed linen is in here and also the cutlery and like table runner and table mats, which I really don't like the look of it. I want it to just be clear. But, you know, a house is kind of for living and you've got to live in it. So until I find a solution for a place for those things to go, they're gonna have to be there because it's the only storage that I have. Um, I also have these two drawers, which are very handy. This piece of furniture is from Costco. Absolutely adore it. So I've got my laptop on there right now. Um, I think it looks so nice, matches the house perfectly. And then Leon very kindly hung these up for me. So these are some prints that I had made. I had quite a few questions on these. I got the photos made at a place called Snappy Prints. And then the frames I bought from H&M Home. Again, link it below. I think I want them all black and white or all in color. But annoyingly, I didn't actually print six prints, either all in color or all in black and white. Hence the kind of mismatch, but Maybe this room needs a little bit of colour, so I don't mind it. And I love these kind of sunset vibes. Here's me and Bella. This one's me and Leon. You can't actually see because of the reflection of the light. But that's from Abu Dhabi. Um, me and my sister at her graduation. I love this picture. Abu Dhabi. Me and Phoebe. And me and my friend. Okay, and then this book is actually from Costco. Again, another great find. Costco is the best. Uh, the range little potted thing, which I love. Just some candles, um, H&M and TK Maxx, I think. And that's this room pretty much. But what I love about this room is that I had these doors put in. Best decision ever made. This was originally all one room. But I love that when it's like cozy in winter time, we actually shut this room and it just feels like a nice cozy little snug, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah. Right, I might come back and show you guys the kitchen later, or that might be it for the downstairs house tour. If this is it for the downstairs house tour, I'm actually gonna outro this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, look, small girl. I will leave my skin and me code below. Link all the housey bits that I can below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I do, need, I do need to show the kitchen as well, but I'll do that later, because I think Leon wants to take me out in his new car. So all excited about it. Car, boom, boom. You are excited, aren't you? No. Yeah, you are. No. Anyway, yeah, that's everything. Comment below if you've got any questions. I'll try to help you guys out. I hope you have a lovely week, and I'll catch up with you very, very soon. Bye, guys.